sure I am live. Yep, I am actually live. Okay, fantastic. All right, so. Supposedly, I've got this all set. That is reversed. That is correct. So I need to change that. Oops, wrong one. Uh, throttle reverse that one. There we go. All right, I'm going to get rid of this yoke real fast. We will, of course, check out to the other aircraft we have in here, uh, but I wanted to get up and do some GA flying just so we can see the difference in regards to the textures and stuff. What's up, PJ Brooks 927? Welcome aboard Light Blaze Steam Release. Yeah, that I'm I don't know when that's gonna be. Good afternoon, Max Bloom. Again, we are this is a valid copy of X Plane 12. It took me a couple hours to get through the craziness of their website going down to get this. So I hope you guys enjoy this first look here at X Plane 12. Um, 60 bucks. I bought it. I think it's worth it already so <laughs> give it a shot go and get my beacon on get a second here to uh go up we'll go full uh full mixture oh we're about to see fuel pump on off bring this back in just a little bit Brakes good. I'll hold them manually. And we started right up. Woo. All right, Avionics coming on board. Just another MSF 2020. So here's the thing you have to understand. First off, I'm getting way more frames in X-Plane 12 right now. In fact, just for sakes of kicks and giggles, let's go to data output. Let's show cockpit. Well, I say more frames. It's showing 25, but I don't think that's correct. It looks way more smooth. I haven't had any jerkiness, but again, we'll give it a shot. I could be wrong, but we'll keep, you know, we'll keep that up just for the sake of... Again, I have everything turned up to the max right now, which I can't do in 2020, by the way. Just FYI. But we'll give this a shot. Um, get out to the runway, I think. I don't, but honestly, just we're going to say screw it and not even worry about ADIS and all that kind of stuff today, okay? This is not how I normally operate, but um, I just want to get out here and see what it looks like. See, there's no way that's 20 frames. Look how smooth that is. There's no way. I don't even. I don't even trust that. Thirty frames. I mean, I don't know. Unless my computer's interpret interpreting in between. Yeah, it seems a lot. Oh, look! At, I'm feeling some. Uh, I just. I don't know. I'm already super excited about it. But then again, I have it. This is the first time. It could be the jetliners could be crap. Um, a bunch of stuff could be wrong with those. I don't know. I'm just in a Cessna 172. The sound. Listen to the sound for a second. That sounds good, man. Now, the clouds look okay. They don't look that great, I'll be honest. They're better than what the X-Plane 11 has, but they're not... Yeah, they're not like... I would say 2020 and these... I'd probably say 2020 is a little bit of edge on the clouds. I have no idea, Randy. I have absolutely no idea. All right. 
Uh, Portland traffic, uh, November 17 to Sierra Echo, back taxiing runway 3 for VFR departure to the north. Uh, yes, I will try out the A330. I, again, I just want to get up in the air with this so I can see what it looks like from the air and, and see how the frames are dealt with and whatever. I, I will definitely try it out. Y'all are just gonna have to give me give me some time here as I as I go through all this. But um it seems quite smooth for 30 26, 25. Yeah, the frame time is really low. It's a thousandth of a second. I do not know about VR. My guess would be no, but I could be wrong on that. So trees... I don't know if those trees are 3D or not. They look 3D. But I'll be honest, all I really care about is how does my PC perform? They are 3D awesome. So far I like it, but again, we'll have to see how how, how it runs here. I don't wanna I don't wanna speak too soon. Be like, it's the best, it beats 2020. Captain Base, what's going on? I I like the sound though. All right, we're going to flip around here. And we'll, of course, check out the rain effects, because I know that's a big thing, right? As well. All right. Portland traffic, November 172. Sierra Echo taking off runway 3. Speed the live, it's in the green. Fly back pressure, and we're up. Thirty frames per second. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Yeah, you can absolutely back taxi on a runway. You just have to either, if you're in a tower, can, tower uh, field, you have to get permission. Uh, so I have a Bravo throttle quadrant and a Bravo or Alpha flight control. Oh, we're in a cloud. That shade looks great. Oh my gosh. It actually looks like shade. There's the water for you. Five frames per second right now. Now, I know you guys are wanting to see probably external, so let's jump outside. So all my specs are in look inside again so the audio is not so blaring. So all my specs are in the description down below for my computer. Yeah, I'm not the trees definitely don't look that great, I'll be honest. I think they could use some improvements. But I'm also not new, new, too nitpicky about it, I guess. Yeah, I'm about 33 right now, and I'm in full. Now, you understand, guys, I have every slider cranked up to the max. I have a 3080 as well. X-Plane 12 is out now, and you just gotta struggle through, um, 
Just gotta struggle through the, the problems. Oh, it says 1080? Okay, no, I have a 3080. Yeah, I have a 3080. I need to update that. Yeah, this is all autogen now. None of this is, you know, extra scenery. This is default. Nothing I'm showing here is not default. I'm liking the fact I'm getting over 20 frames per second. I'm at 35 to 40 right now, which is... So, on 2020, I have my sliders not cranked up all the way, and I regularly get frames about 25 at max. You can see a little bit of jittery there. Not bad, but just a little bit. Now, I'm not sure what you guys are seeing on the stream, because I'll be honest, my monitor... Is, it's a 4K, by the way. This is in 4K resolution. Let me be honest. This is 4K resolution. Yes, I do have my own plane in real life. Um, so my, my thing right now is my actual 4K monitor is going out. It's starting to bleed and stuff. Um, I do not feel any difference in handling so far. It seems pretty much the same as before. I, th I don't think the flight model changed much. Because you have to understand, X-Plane was already using the whole simulation of the air versus simulation of the aircraft. So, like, they were already doing that before 2020. That's a good question. I don't know about the custom scenery. I have to see. Yeah, I will show you guys the 330. I want to go down town Portland here, and then I'll jump over and we'll jump into the 330 and see what the 330 looks like. But I'm already going to tell you guys right now, more than likely, I may never get on 2020 again. I'm just saying. Why am I saying that now? Even though I haven't even done anything else? Because the frame rates. I'm getting 30 plus. But again, this is in 4K resolution. The slider's completely up. So, you know, if for some reason you have you have a computer that doesn't have my specs. Doesn't have a 3080. I totally get it. They're expensive as heck. But if you don't have that, I think you can bring it back. And you probably still get pretty good pretty good results out of this we're gonna go down here downtown portland we'll fly around a little bit and then we'll uh go grab a uh grab the three the, the a330 i have a ryzen uh 5800x so i'll show you here in a moment the user interface we'll show you here in a moment Car Carby, yes, I, so it took me two hours, two hours to check out. So I am sure the servers are having a fun time with everything right now. So right now I am at 25, 27, 28, 28, 26, 27 frames right now. My frame time is 0 0.03 so pretty fast download size is like 45 gigs it's big and that was just for north america yeah i do wish they had multiplayer but it's okay I have not, guys, I literally loaded it straight up. I have not tested anything from 11 to 12. Do you have a CPU, GPU uh, utility you could call out or show us? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me pull over. See what what my, my usage performance is right now. Alright, so I am using 25% of my CPU. This includes streaming out now. now. I have a 5800X. I am using 24 gigs of RAM. 
And my GPU. Why is it not showing my GPU? Let me grab. Yeah, it's a pretty big get download. So that's not bad for default scenery right there. See cars on the roads. Let's do some steep turns real fast. Let's get uh, power set. Oop, just had a little, little bit of frame loss right there when I switched quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, stop this. All right, we're gonna stop that for now, and we're gonna go and check out. Good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check out. Um, PJ Brooks, nine two seven. Thanks for the uh, membership. Welcome to business class. Thank you so much. Have your peanuts, sir. All right, so here's the main menu. A little different, right? Kind of new. All right, so you have options like usual, resume last flight, new flight, save flight, load, save flight, and flight school. We're going to do new flight here. And you guys asked for the 330, so we're going to start with that. Start with engines off. We'll do Portland International since we're already here. It'll help with the load time. And we'll just um, we'll grab this guy right here. Confirm. And uh, we'll start new flight. Raykit, I agree. I am happy to see. Finally, it seems like after eight to ten years, we're finally getting competition again in the in the realm of flight simulation. And I'm happy for it. All right. So make sure these are all the way down. We're going to first off go in here. I got to redo my joysticks. Throttle quadrants. This has got to change to throttle one. This has got to change to throttle two. This is, where's my speed brakes? And where is, got to get my gear. Gear, landing gear up, apply, down, gear, down, apply. Whoa, BJ Brooks 927 gifted five memberships. Man, thank you so freaking much. I appreciate that, man. All right, and um, man, you, you're just you're just showing off, aren't you? <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, that means a lot. All right, done. All right, so we're gonna make sure this is down, down, down. This up, this up. All right. Do jetways work? Supposedly they do. Supposedly they do. Uh, still the old don't click while loading trick. Yes, absolutely. If you do, it crashes. <laughs> I it, ha it happened once to me already. Um, Let's go let's see about Jetway, because I don't know. Sur service airplane with Jetways. Um, record keystrokes. I don't know. We're going to do Control Delta, just because. All right. Oh, of course, we're getting the warm. I know. Ooh, frames are, frames are not good. Frames are not good right now. It's okay when I'm looking up here. When I was looked outside, it was not good. External power. All right, we'll get that in a second. Um, I think the jetway is already attached. Bring up ground service menu. Okay, shift G. Oh, yeah. It is attaching, or is it going away? I don't know what it's doing. Is it killing me? No, it's not. Yeah, we'll check the cabin out here in a second. I just want to... All right, cool. Request ground services. Oh, I heard... I hear... I'm hearing things. <gasps> it opens. Let's go back here. 
Hey, uh, this is where you're, you're sitting, PJ, up here. In, well, this is first class. I think your business class is right here. I don't know. You're up here, though. We're going we're gonna to place, place you up there anywhere. Yeah, we'll show you the exterior here in a second. It's pretty... Oh, my gosh. What kind of class cabin is this? <laughs> I want to fly on this aircraft. That is actually really good, man. That is actually surprising. All right, we're going to go back to default view. Yeah, I'm not that cool. Ah, yeah, you are. All right, so let's look at the interior here. So my frames are a little low. They're about 22 right now, which I'm not super happy about. But um, yeah, we'll see. So th this is adjustable. That's good. I'm glad to see that. Ceiling lights, map light, console, foot warmers. I don't need a foot warmer. Go and cure the mask with caution. Let's jump outside so you can see what it looks like outside. So I'm getting 21 frames outside right now. Time has increased to 0 0.05. So not as good down over here. I like how they modeled the airlines not having power and they dropped it down. That's pretty cool. Right, so again, as if you're coming in now, this is 4K resolution. Everything is cranked to the max. So I could probably go in and, and, and fix the little things and probably get this down. And I mean everything. Anti-AA, everything. Everything's cranked to the max right now because I wanted to see how it performed. Uh, liveries, I don't know what liveries are available, honestly. Um, we're going to zoom flight. Let's uh, flight configuration. So Air Asia, Air Canada, Cath Cathway Pacific, Swiss Air Virgin Galactic. We'll stay with um, Blue Swanza for now. All right, uh, let's get back inside. So I kind of want to get this thing up and running so I can see what how it acts, how it flies. We'll keep it twenty nine nine two. I'm not going to worry about autopilot as much. So nav data is out of date. Well, that's no surprise. <laughs> That's no surprise. All right, let's get some of these things on. Good grief. Uh, nav. Got battery power. Uh, bus needs to be on auto. Electrical. I don't know how to start this thing, so you guys are going to have to be patient with me. Looks like everything is actually off. Which is interesting. Yeah, and that's also... This is a open beta. This is not like, you know... I'm at 42 looking up here, though. This is not finished. This is still... They're still working. So I'm not super, like, upset about it, if you can tell. I mean, I, I would like it to be perfect, but, you know... I'll be honest, I've never started the A330 in my entire life. I've done the A320, but never the A330. We are going to turn all... Extinguished is good. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going off of. Normal, cooling. Ice valves go normal. Oh gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Aider says on bat. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the APU started because um, that's important. Yeah, so this is 60 bucks to buy this. Um, it does cost, but X Plane's always done this. It always does this. Um, yes, you still have to pay for 12 if you have 11. All right, flaps open. Start APU. No, not going to be a free upgrade, unfortunately. I'm 
I'm going with the concept of everything should be on. I know this is not at all correct, but you know what? I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. All right, APU is on, so we're going to try starting. Oh, you know what? We should probably close that up. Get that off. All right, that's backing off there. Slides and cargo bolts, slide cargo. How do I close and open the see that's the thing? I don't I don't know what I'm doing with the A330. Alright. Engine one on. Push back straight. Parking brake off. Uh, let's see, that's on. Where's AP bleed? That needs to be on. Engine one is starting. I hear it. Let's go out there. Let's go. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot, too far. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, the sounds are pretty pretty darn good. Commencing pushback. All right, so it's gonna push me back here. Commencing pushback. <laughs> That's already good. I already know. Engine two on. That's going to be a joke. Commencing pushback. We're just going to set this to something like... I don't know. Let's go up to 18,000, shall we? Is that as far as you're going to take me? That's as far as you're going to take me? Fine. Fine. Whatever. I can do it on my own now. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below to see more X-Plane 12 because I guarantee you over the next several weeks I'm going to be playing this thing to death. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification icon so you get notified when I go live next. You don't want to miss it. All right, we're going to go flaps one here. Ground spoilers armed. Give me some integral lighting. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, gosh. These need to be reversed. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're okay, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is X-Plane 12. This is X-Plane 12. Oh, man, that was almost a disaster. Okay, let's... um. Again, frame's not the greatest when you're looking out the window. All right, we're going to do... Let's see. APU's on. We should be able to... APU. Do that... Because our engines are not operating. They're operating for the power. 
All right, we're gonna hold the left rudder down here. Commencing pushback. What? What do you mean? What do you mean commencing pushback? Are you trying to push me back again? Oh, they are pushing me back again. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Are you actually pushing me back right finally? Are you actually doing it? You are actually doing it. You are pushing me back right. Yay! I'm happy about that. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and stop it. Disconnect. Thank you. Here. Appreciate it. Alright, spoilers need to go in the arm position. Auto brakes need to go max. And yeah. Alright, here we go. Gonna use Sounds pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the sound so far. Alright, so I'm at 24 frames. 23, 24. I love the ground textures. It looks way more realistic. I do not recommend what I'm doing right now, which is just like hot starting the A330 and uh, just winging it. Never flown the A330 my entire life. Only flown the A320. 19, 21, 18. Not in real life, this is simulators, guys. Don't try to say, oh, you claim to be an airline pilot. No, no. Uh, this is Portland. The sounds are un unrealistic, only in the fact they're too loud in the cockpit. Uh, if we were out there by the wing, this actually was, is about how they sound. No, it's not quite the Phoenix. Again, this is all default, guys. 4K resolution, max sliders, everything up. 3080, uh, just the 3080, not TI. Um, 64 gigs of RAM, 5800X uh, Ryzen CPU, and uh, default everything. We're going to taxi down here, use as much runway as possible, because I don't know how this is going to react, how well this is going to fly. No clue. No freaking clue. So now that I've gotten away from the terminal, I'm about 25 frames, and it's dropped back down to 0 0.04 on the time between frames. You can see a little bit of water on the on the field here. Um, well, I'm not really going to have an end of flight, so to speak. Uh, change this to arc mode. Yes, there is a way to do that. I'm trying to remember how it's over here. Shoot, I don't remember. Make sure I'm not going off anything. I thought it was right over here. Am I missing it? Is it right in front of me? I'm not seeing it. You guys know on the... Th Oh, it's right here, isn't it? Nope. Is it? Yeah, Ark, there it is. <laughs> oh, gosh. You gotta, you gotta forgive me, guys. Again, never flown this before. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for helping. I appreciate it. Is the weather radar working? I, I would, I'm just gonna say no. I'm just gonna... What about terrain? We'll see if terrain works. I will say this are, it looks better. I'm not super happy about the trees. They're better than default X-Plane 11. But they're not... They're not how... I, they're not as full as they should be, I think, is what the best way to say this. Yeah. I mean, so far everything's functioning, right? <laughs> right? This is beta. It is going to get better. Don't, don't shred it yet. 
I will say it's better than 11. Is it as good as 2020 in regards to quality of imagery? Maybe not quite as good. But to me, it's running smoother than 2020 is now a year later after release. Again, that is just that's just what I'm I'm seeing right now. All right, we're gonna oops change this heading to 280. I could have gone the other way. It'd be faster, so we can at least check out the autopilot. Uh, we're gonna. Turn up the speed though till we'll do 210. That should be fine. Um, we will check out rain as well. You, well, you guys want me to do, go ahead and do rain now, put rain on before I take off? I could do that. I think so. I think there's a way to do that without having to reset everything. Uh, flight. I know it's flight configuration, you can do it, but is there a way to change weather without resetting your... Okay, it's going to give me some rain. All right. I'm going to make sure it rains here in a second. Let me, let me get the rain. Make sure it's going to rain. Um, let's go ahead and do it. Overcast, cumulus. Let's bring this a little bit up. And we definitely want pre precipitation. We'll do med moderate. All right. There's the rain for you. Okay, the windshield wipers are a little bit annoying. I will... I will say that <laughs> right off the bat. All right, ladies and gentlemen. First flight, A320, X.12. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at the effects on the wind. Oh, that's cool. Eighty knots scratch check. Frames twenty two. There's one forty. And we're off. Gear coming up. Flaps coming up. PC specs are down below, except it's a 3080. Yeah, the wipers didn't appear to interact with the rain. I had to manually adjust that. Okay, the autopilot is very janky. It seems to be very janky. Yeah, autopilot seems a little weird. Goodbye, Shadow. Rain's not working on ND. Again, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon so you can notify when I go live next for the next... Because I guarantee you this will not be the last time I'm flying X-Plane 12. You'll want to check it out. Should you wait to buy it, 
if you have 11 right now, I'd give it a, give it a little bit. If you have 20, 20 right now, I'd give it a little bit. I never am someone who says, go out there and buy it right now, right off the get-go. Because what happens is you go out there, buy it, and you're not satisfied. I did that with 2020, and I shouldn't have. So let's see what happens when we go through the clouds, because this should be interesting. Make sure my strobes are off when I go through the clouds here. So, okay, let me just show you guys so you can... All right, here is, here's my settings on the sim. I am in a 4K monitor, 60 hertz. There's my settings. All right, so everything but AA is all the way up. That's what you get. All right. I have flown the PMDG on 2020, and I do love the aircraft. The aircraft is very good. I've not flown the Phoenix, though. All right, we're at 35 frames now. Time is down to 0 0.2 to 0.3. Let's see what happens when we go through these clouds. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that transition. You didn't even know. Yes. Thank you. X-Plane, you finally did clouds right. It wasn't this blotchiness that... Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, competition makes sims better. I am all for competition. CPU temp, GPU temp. Well, my CPU is only being used about 25% right now. So my guess is pretty low. GPU, I'm not 100% sure. Night. That's a good point. I have not tried night yet. Let's freeze the sim and let's go over the night. Th thank you for reminding me because I probably would not have done that. Let's change this to a uh, few clouds so we can at least... Let's go to, uh, we'll do dusk and then right in the night. How about that? And we're going to, we're going to need to turn, turn this suckers down. That's for sure. Cause, uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bright. All right, here we go. All right, so there's your outside lighting. It's not the best. It's better than 11. Let's pop outside. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's awesome. That was awesome. So lighting, ah, uh, Mark. That's so cool, though. That's so cool. Going through the moisture. It's not legit that it's lighting up out here, but it's all right. Yeah, so I'd say... Um, I, I would say that uh, it's definitely... The lighting's not as good as I'd want. Blow in the dark clouds? Uh, I don't see any. You got clouds out front where this is sun setting. But you're talking about the uh, off the wings, yeah. I don't see any glow in the dark clouds out there. Stars look pretty good. I mean, it's not awful, but it's also not best. All right, let's go ahead and let's love laugh at fourteen thousand here. We're going to slow her down to 2.30. Yeah, 3 out of 5, that's about what I'd put it. All right, let's see if we can't... I don't know. <laughs> this... The, the, the FMC is not... Not what it should be. This is like a 737 FMC. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is not... This is not an Airbus McDo. That is disappointing. 
That is really disappointing. That is sad. That reflection is also not great. Yeah. That's a good point. Flight directors should be on, shouldn't they? <laughs> I have no idea about the 777. Oops, wrong freaking knob. Get the heading here. Yeah, they did not put the McDo in, which is... Uh, it's getting updated in the future, is it? Uh, that's news to me. I gotcha. It is beta. It's a default aircraft in beta. I mean, you can't be too, you know, angry about it. We're going to go ahead and descend down to about 6,000 feet, and you'll see why in a second. We're going to see if we can land this thing. Is it going to show me my open descent? There we go. All right. We're going to slow this puppy down to 220. I don't know what... Can someone pull up? Someone give me the frequency, the ILS frequency for... Um, go back to day. I could do that. I know you can use... Those are the brackets. Or is it... A, nope. I'll just do it this way. We will try out getting this thing back in landing. I need the, <laughs> I need the frequency for the ILS and in, uh, into Portland. Uh, Portland, uh, give me runway two eight or ten. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a failed cockpit reflection. That's true. That is true. I honestly have no idea where I is. I, I need my... I need to, like, actually be able to see. And not having a McDo where I could actually plug in is also bad. Why are you not taking the heading? Why are you not following the heading? This is great. This is wonderful. Okay. Uh, one's one 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 zero point five. Which one is that? Yeah, you know, that's a good question. Of, will I even be able to punch it in? Because oh, autopilot's off. It turned off. That's nice. Thank you guys. Ten right would be one one zero point five. Uh, yeah, I could. So we're going to turn around and head back to PDX. So we're going to give... Um, well, that should bring me back towards... Give me the IFR low en route. <laughs> yep, that'll bring me back around... And then we can use this radial up and then intercept. That's kind of what I'll do. Um, so X-Plane 12 is good. It's... I think there's a lot... There's still some... Still some... Uh, ooh, the shadows look great, though. There's still some stuff to be desired. So, still some stuff to be desired, but... That's okay. I'm not too upset. Again, this is still early access. You got to give it some time, guys. Current METAR. Give it to me. Uh, of course, I'm not in real life. I will say PMDG has really good. PMDG has really good physics. I have PMDG the 7... The 737-700, and I really do like it. That's the one aircraft I fly in Microsoft Flight Simulator. That and uh, the A320. 
the fly by wire. It's good. It's not great, but it's good. Ed Stone, thank you so much for the subscription. Appreciate it. All right, we'll get in here and load. So I don't have, I'll just have to do a visual because I don't think I'm going to be able to use this stupid thing for actually trying to do approaches and stuff. Because, like, it's looking for a flight plan. It's like, you need to have a flight plan. And, like, I'm like, okay, but your entire thing is jacked up. So this is not a big do. This is an FMC, not even a real FMC. Yeah, so I don't... It doesn't even give me... Uh, yeah, so I don't think this is even working right now. So again, this is in beta. This is not... This is not, like, your finished project. That's alright. I'll just run off the map here. We'll just do a visual. Why not? We'll just do a visual. Don't forget, guys, hit the subscription, the subscribe button down below and hit the um, bell notification on to get notified when I go live next. I'll be flying in X Plane 12 on and off throughout the next couple weeks to evaluate it and see how it is. So, my biggest, and I, okay, I'm going to step outside of what I'm doing right now and just kind of give you an evaluation, okay? So I started playing Flight Simulator with Microsoft Flight Simulator X back in 2015, 2016. No, 20, what, early than that, 2010. Yeah, I saw that, 2010. After I, I played that for years, for years. And then I got X-Plane 11 and I loved X-Plane 11. It brought out, it's what started this channel really. Then I was so excited for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So excited. I was like, oh my gosh, they're bringing Microsoft Flight Simulator back. It looks amazing. And then I bought it. And then I played it. And I was like, oh my gosh, what have they done? It looked beautiful. Yeah, I've seen the glitch there. Yeah, I see that. It looked beautiful. But the way that everything flew was just absolutely atrocious. I was honestly... I was, I was angry. I was angry because of how bad the aircraft flew. I don't know who they got that said that it flew great or whatever. It, it was awful. And so I waited and I waited. And eventually they came out with all the add-on aircraft. The add-on aircraft are better. But there's still things in 2020 that just don't feel right. They just don't feel right at all. Um, not in the air. In the air, great. Air is great, but when you touch the ground, the whole like interaction with the ground, the physics there, like you're like skirting all over the runway left and right. And you're like, what is going on? And I, I just, just I don't like that. It feels clunky to me. The interface is clunky. Um, it everything's laggy in the interface for me, with the same specs I'm using right now. It just, it just does not, it doesn't work for me. But at the same time, there's some really good stuff of 2020 it's beautiful it's a beautiful game yep true nathan yep even when you change the sensitivity it's a beautiful game but that's kind of what i feel like it is it's almost more a game than it is a simulator 11 explain to me has always felt better in terms of flight characteristics just in general Let's see if i got the airport in sight i think that's it over there yep that is over there but again I'm all for, you know, people having their choice. And I love competitive markets. I love them. The fact, I, I'm not going to out here and say, you shouldn't play Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. No, go ahead. Play it. Love it. Enjoy it. It's a good sim, but it's not, I don't like the characteristics of the flying hand, flight handling. I just don't. Get some uh, speed brakes in here. Yes, this is early access. You have to pay for it. It's not free. But um, it is early access, yes. <laughs> OK, 
get lined up here. Slowed down here. Oop, not yet. Go ahead and get my gear down. No, this is not tomorrow. So I thought it wasn't going to come out till tomorrow. But it came out today. We're a bit high. I agree. I do think X-Plane has better physics. But I'm also not going to go out here and say that 2020 doesn't have its place. To me, 2020 took a year to finally get where it should have been on release. And that was always been my issue. Um, autopilot's off. I'm in manual. Or it should be auto throttle. I don't know why it kicked back on. Thanks for pointing that out. Yes, every everything will have its lack. All right, flaps are full. Gears down. Come on. Yeah, I have a 3080, not a 1080 Ti. That is old, I need to update that. Uh, biggest change for X-Plane, just got a little buff of air there. 11, I would say uh, lighting, clouds, and scenery. I think the lighting is so much better than what it was. It just feels it, it feels more real. The the shade, the clouds look better. Like the actual like clouds on the ground from the lighting. But I'm not an expert, guys. I this is the first time me playing it too, so don't don't take my word as gospel. Alright. Let's see what we do, guys. First time landing at A three thirty. I'm at Portland. Let's hope I don't crash this thing. Hundred. Fifty. I don't have reserve. Oh, I forgot to put reversers. I didn't map reversers on my thing. Let's manually activate them just for the sake of see how they sound. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, yeah, let's jump outside so you guys can see. I think that has default replay. I think we can replay that so we can replay how that landing was. You can see a little bit of water left over from the rain earlier. See the wing flex, pretty cool. Let's get off the runway here, then we'll see if we can 
throw it back and get a uh, nice replay out of that. Alt R for replay. Yeah, we'll see if that works. Aha, yes. All right, let's see how that looks. Don't forget, guys, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell notification icon so you can get notified next time I go live with X-Plane 12. We're going to fly this till I am dead. So, yeah, this everything's default, guys. Everything's default. I don't know if we can connect the VATSIM or not. I'll have to check it out. I'm a little off-center. No, this is... I bought this. This is full. Ooh, had a little jerk there. Little hard, but not bad. Oh, cool reversers. I love those reversers. Not bad. Not bad. It's the first time ever flying it. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Nathan, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right. Now, I heard someone wanted me to, to fly the F4, F-14. You guys want me to fly the F-14 real fast? I've never flown it before. I'll have to just wing it. I love how it transitioned right from replay into... I bought it directly off of the website. All right, so flight configuration. Um, there's a bunch of aircraft by default, Citation X, um, a bunch of things. I started with Cessna 172. I'm going to try out the Fort, the, the Tomcat first. We'll try this out, and then, uh, and then we'll uh, try out some others. How about that? Uh, but we're going to start with the engines because I don't know how to freaking fly this thing. This is, this is completely, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, we can take out the 737 as well. Uh, offer live traffic? That's a good question. I don't have an answer. Let me. We'll check that out. We'll see if it can. We'll see if it can. I disagree. I think it does look different than X-Plane 12 or 11. But that's just me. Alrighty. Here we go. Pretty detailed model. Pretty worn cockpit. Golly. I guess it makes sense for F... Um... F-14. Uh, I would disagree with that, Ryan. I, I'm a Windows user. Let's go! Oh, gosh. I don't know how to fly this thing. Um, how do I put the wings back? <laughs> I don't know how to put the wings back. Hold on. I don't know how to put the wings back. There's got to be a keyboard shortcut for that. Um, what would that be called? F14 uh, wings. What would that be called? I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Lever to the left of the throttle is the wings. Okay. This.
this thing right here. Does it do it automatically? Yep, it's moving. Five ninety six hundred. It sounds like a rocket. It kind of is. All right. That was fun. Let's go do something else. <laughs> Let's give this. That's that's cool. My yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let's try out. Uh, someone said Cirrus S twenty two. Yeah, we could try the Cirrus S twenty two. Why not? Confirm. Uh, we'll start with the engines running just for the sake of uh, simplicity. Chopper. I'm not qualified to fly chopper at any way, shape, shape or form. Yeah, we'll try the 737 right after the SR-22. You can guys see what it looks like. All right, this is what it looks like on the inside. Pretty detailed. That's what it looks like on the outside here. All right. Go back inside here. All right, and uh, I don't. Ooh, a lot of rudder, a lot of rudder required for that. Never flown a Cirrus in my life. Seems a little jerky on the controls. That's just me. I bought this directly from the website. I did not install it through Steam. I just bought it directly from the website, got an install link, um, downloaded the executable, and downloaded it and installed it. I don't know if it's on Steam or not. Got vehicles down on the road. Here's your water for you. Thanks, Edston. I appreciate it. Don't forget, guys, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon down below. You can notify next time I go live with X-Plane 12. We'll do some real life. Yeah, it's probably true, Nathan. Um, so we'll, tr we'll do some real life flights over the next uh, week or so. Flying full length airline flights, the A330 and other, the 737 and such. Getting uh, used to it and uh, checking out all it has to offer. Yes, I bought a license through the, their uh, web store. <laughs> Fame, you got it. You got it. I will go to 737 and do Ryanair. All right. We'll do, we'll do the 737. If it has Ryanair. It does have Ryanair. There it is. There it is. We'll start with engines running just like last time. Even though I could do full, I have tutorials on how to start the thing uh, dark, but we'll just do it so that you know we can get up in the air really fast. Um, I am getting about five frames per second more here in uh, X Plane 11. 
All right, of course, nav data is out of date. No surprise there. It looks decent. Um, I would say probably Zebo quality, which, you know, Zebo is an upgraded version of the default in 11. Um, I think it could use a little bit of work. Not as good as PMDG, I would say. But uh, frames are great. Uh, frames inside the cockpit are about 60. Outside, 27, 20, 27, yeah, frame time, point, point zero 0.03. Let's jump outside and check out the external model. It's going to be about the same. Yep, it's a good model. I don't have any complaints. I like the uh, PPR on the wings and such. You can see the reflectivity. Really nice there. Love that. I don't know if you'd ever see Ryanair with this good of a paint job, but, you know. <laughs> oh. Uh, so this UI is absolutely the same. There's no difference there. However, if you go to the main menu, it is totally different. Totally different. What is better? I don't know. This is... It's kind of hard to say this is better with the fact that um, this is in beta. It'd be like saying, oh, which is better, 2020 beta or x 11? I don't know. It's different. But, I mean, I, I like... I'm a X plane fan over 2020 just because 2020 took a year to get good or any type of good at all. Um... And the characteristics of flying in 2020 seems way off. But every sim has its place. 2020 looks beautiful. Oh, is it? That's pretty cool. And that's the thing. I have a lot of add-ons in X-Plane. I'm hoping they transition over. Stall warning. You're up. No, I think the flight models are pretty similar. I'm not able to do anything in Europe right now because I did not download the European scenery. I just downloaded uh, North America. Pretty good. Nope, you got it. You can download. You can download the whole world if you want. But I, I, I don't. I can't. Exxon twenty four. I have to disagree. Um, even when it says I'm getting good frames, which is rare, I have a thirty eighty. Um, it looks cartoonish in regards to the graphics at that stage. Knife flying seems performance is fine. It's pretty good. Like I'm getting almost 40 frames right now. But to each their own. Uh, you'll hear me. I agree 100%. I think you're absolutely right. I think you hit it on the head right there. But it feels really nice. I love. Feels really good, smooth. More than likely, I'm just just my opinion. More than likely, I'm going to be flying X Plane Twelve. More. Um, I downloaded it. It was forty something gigs when I downloaded it. You know, that's a good question. I, let me bring up. Data output here. Let's bring, let's see, give me a sort of option to see the CPU usage on cores on here. I don't think I see that as an option. 
but I can pull up. I'm trying to get the answer that uh, about the cores here. And I'll tell you which ones it, what it's using here. All right, so yes, it is using all the cores. All eight cores are being used right now. Now, I can't say that this is using all of it, but all eight my, of my cores are being used right now, about 25% utilization. So. But yeah, the ground's not, it's not, as, okay. Ground texture's not as good as 2020. It's true. And some of you may get better FPS in 2020 than I do. But I'm talking about just the way this feels of flying. This feels really smooth and responsive. Versus in 2020, I turn and it's like, oh gosh, jerky jerky. Now, if you have the PMDG and stuff, no, it's different, obviously. But default, default airplanes, this is all default, of course. All default. Uh, PMDG for X plane. I don't. They don't have it for twelve. Um, PMDG for twenty twenty is like sixty or seventy dollars. I don't remember how much it was exactly. Going to become a pilot? I would say X plane. I'll be honest, well, I'm over speeding like a mother trucker. Um, and why I say that? Because the flight model generally, generally, um, is better in 20 and, and next plane. But, this is my opinion. My opinion. Um, so, autopilot supposedly works. The problem is, is the FMC is not complete yet, so, like, you can't do a bunch of what you normally would do. Let's get some, uh, drag in here. If I can't do something crazy. Don't do what I'm doing, folks. Correct. So I fly, in real life, I am a private pilot. I fly, I have a Cherokee 140. Um, I would love to have a Cherokee 140 by default in games, but that's just not going to happen. I will say I've flown the Cessna 172s, and um, the 72 seems pretty good. Oh yeah, nothing I did was realistic right there. But I thought about being an airline pilot. I did for a while. I just don't think that life would fit me. Uh, I have a Rode Podcaster. It's about a $200 mic. Don't forget guys, hit the subscription, subscribe button down below. And uh, hit the bell notification icon so you get notified next time I go live. And don't forget to hit the like button down below as well. Helps with YouTube algorithms. All right, we're going to see if we can't butter this like the... Okay, we are sinking. That's better. That was... I am all off glide slope and all kind of crap. Throttle sidle. Beginning flare. Holding. Holding. Oh! Oh, not that great. Not that great. I need to bind reversers. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to wrap it up for tonight. I did want to get on here and showcase this just right off the bat. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button down below. Hit the bell notification icon. I will be going live again this week with X-Plane 12. And we're going to go and do an actual full flight. That way you can actually see... Good landing for Ryanair. I forgot I was flying Ryanair. Dad it. Ryanair is what did it. <laughs> um, so you can actually see what a full flight would look like. And I'm going to try to get some of my add-ons shifted over and see if they don't work. Just out of the box. That would be awesome. We'll see. But uh, thanks again for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time up in the sky.